Okay, hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I made a Star Stable video, so I'm doing it now. Um, and like usual, you may not be able to comment, but leave a like so I'll know that you watched it and that'll be my way of knowing that you guys are commenting by the likes, because I don't think it'll let you do the comments for some weird reason. So last time I did a video on this, I was wild with them. So, yep. As you guys may have already noticed, I like fantasies a lot and magical horses, so this game is definitely a to-go type of game to play. I know I haven't played it in a while. Just started playing it on Tuesday. Because I had to reinstall the game. But, yeah. <laughs> Everything's still the same. I was able to recover my account, so. And everything's good. I mean, I feel like if I make this video long enough you guys might be able to comment but it's just weird what YouTube does restricting some of my videos but whatever <laughs> so I just have my magic horses out right now for the moment being so you won't see any normal horses on here because others are in um, the uh, thing yeah. And I don't think any of these horses here are magic, so that's why I don't have them out. But, um, I think I have a couple level 15 horses here. Oh, yeah, like this one over here. Ocean Breeze. I forgot I made her max level. As far as I'm aware, level 15 is the max level for your horses in Star Stable, so... Other than that, I don't know. I love that owl. <sighs> I think there was a couple magic horses that I, that I missed. Because I wasn't playing Star Stable at the time. So I may have missed them. I don't think they were here for long either. But yeah. So I just hopped on and I guess wanted to show my horses again. So. Yeah. Sometimes they move when I'm not using anything. See? They like to move. Oops. It can be a little bit difficult though. Gosh. Hopefully not used to this. It's hard to do this with one hand on both things, meaning my phone and my computer, so. Uh, this was my first magic horse that I got, otherwise known as the Galloper Thompson horse. <laughs> Pretty sure you guys can tell that by the tack. Although I don't remember the fox being part of it. Yeah, I don't think the fox was part of it, but I think I got it during the um the christmas thing so i'm trying not to really press any other button on my phone here as to like not wanting to mess up the video okay i want to start over and show anything i'm not supposed to show because i'm pretty good at not showing things I'm not supposed to show, but 
yeah if you guys haven't requested this one and i'm still doing it then i just hope nonetheless you guys just like the videos because i can't really do much anything else with these horses and it would be kind of hard to do the races with one hand because i do two hands so that might be a little bit hard for me But I think it'll be okay. Yeah, this might be my favorite fa uh, fantasy magic horse. You can call it a fantasy because I think they're in that line um, of magic horses. This might be my top favorite right now because it's like the Galloper Thompson horse that you would see in the Halloween thing. This is where I got that horse, by the way. Um... Mostly with the horses I have, I try not to sell them because I mostly use them for training and stuff like that, and role plays. So. Now it looks like a normal horse. <laughs> These horses are very detailed, though, I must say. And also, I don't think you would see these type of horses in real life as much as you would in video games like that one. <laughs> That's the... Oh, gosh, what is it? Um, This is one of the... What is it? Isn't that one of the... Ocean horses? Trakaners, ocean trakaner horses. Because I remember them looking like that at first and then turning to look like a trakaner with their normal. with their not, not magic state. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Alright. All right, let's get the other one out. Just kind of doing like a four of my horses. I normally put them in their stalls too because I don't really like to be messy with them. So that's why I put them inside. No, it's not going to be perfect when you're putting your horse away. Also, I'm just going down the line right now. Sorry. Open this door. Get on this horse. So this is one, this is, um, I think my second magic horse I got. It was also in the Halloween thing too. So I had to grab it and then the other one right next to it. If you saw a snippet of it. You probably saw them in my last video as well that I did about these horses. The last one I did, it was with the Morari in it, so. This video won't have the Morari in it. Well, at least the Morari won't be in the stables because it's in the thing with the others. As in the other horses that aren't magical, so. <laughs> Just to clarify. I just wish I can get like every magical horse in the game, but a lot of them are just limited time, so you have to get them within that limited time range. So, I mean, I guess it's understandable, right? <laughs> so, yeah, this one's my zombie horse. My zombie, um, wild Yorvik. They called it a Eurovic Wild Horse, I believe. Yeah. It's... 
I might have to get back to training and all that after I do this video because I just decided to give you guys another Star Stable video because I know it's been a while and you guys probably like these videos so you put them on like because I don't think it'll let you do the comments. Why? I don't know. Do I know how to fix it? No. <laughs> do I wish I knew how to fix it? Yes. But I don't. Unfortunately. Alright, so now that you saw this one, let's get the other ones out. Hopefully I can show all of them right now. During this video. Because I don't want to make it a uh, part two. So that's kind of why I'm going through it kind of quickly. Because I don't know if it's going to cut me off anytime soon. And yes, these horses lay down. Like normal horses you would see lying down. I just love how they execute it. It's so flawless. Anyways, also if you guys play Star Stable and um, have Star Coins and you just want to make it to where all of your horses are immediately taken care of, um, hire a Stable Girl to do it for you. Which would be Maya, obviously. She's a stable curl, so it makes sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is the black one that turns white. I love every single horse in this game so far. This is one of my favorite games. If you guys couldn't tell already. Oh, and I also have a um, a book for Star Stable as well. So, it's the Soul Riders book. If you guys really like Star Stable and you want to read the book, you should be able to find it online and order it. And then it should be delivered. Something like that. I don't know how it works, actually. But... Yep. Since I got that book, I haven't stopped reading it because I like fantasy books. That one just happens to be a fantasy type of book. Because it goes along with its game, so it makes sense. I'll probably show that um, when I get ready to end the video. So, stick around till the end. I just can't get over these horses. They're gorgeous. So pretty. No hate, only love. <laughs> what my character is wearing, it kind of blends in with the horse itself. Oh wait, did I show you guys the... Zombies magical coat? Um, sorry, I sometimes have bad memories about it. Um, I'll probably go and show y'all after this horse. I'll just go back real quick and show it. Won't hurt nothing. So yeah, this is that horse that lives right next door to it. Just doing this for content. That is all. There's a horse. 
I can get this one back in its little stable thing here. Yeah, it works better like that when you go straight kind of in front of the stall thing because it makes it easier for you to get in and out. To get you, because I don't know if I showed. I may have showed it, I just already forgot if I did or not. So there you go. Yeah, if I did show it already, then I just decided to show it to you guys again. But yeah, that's that for that horse. Let's see. This one was from the Christmas thing as well. It's like a unicorn. Although I'm not so sure if you would call it a unicorn, but to me it looks like one. Because of the little tip of the mane looking like one. So that's kind of why I call it a unicorn. And it's actually like one of the other North Swedish horses, but it's a magic one. That other North Swedish horse that I had, I should have kept it. Because you can get it from the Star Stable Horses app. And then transfer it to the online game. Which is cool, but I didn't keep it. And I kind of regret it. Because it was cute. But anyways. Enough of that. There's its normal coat. Yeah. I don't think I have a single Arabian on this game, though. I mean, I could probably buy one, but I don't want to right now. But their little faces are so cute. I don't know why some people don't like the Arabians. I guess it's apparently because of their face or something. But they're really cute though. Like, how can you not like an Arabian? Honestly, I would like every breed of horse. <laughs> I just think they're all cute. That's my personal opinion, by the way. If you guys have a different opinion, that's fine. So I respect it. A hundred billion percent. If that isn't the thing, I just made it the thing. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, somebody help me. Slowly losing my mind. Well, I don't have a mind anymore. I lost it. Clearly. Alright. Oof. causing the thing to come out of its nostrils like the that you see that I wonder if this horse is causing that I mean it might be because this is one of the this is those type of cold horses I mean I guess it makes sense so I mean, hey, I'm not going to complain about it. It's kind of interesting. Because I guess it makes the whole stable cold. Interesting. Did not know that. Well, okay then. Oof. Ocean Breeze is one of my favorites, too. I gave her the 
the Santa like tack. Because I thought it was cute. And then the little penguin. You can see him. I just thought it was cute. Pretty sure you guys saw that that horse. I have it too. I showed it at the beginning, I believe. Beginning of the video. That one's the peacock one. Yep. So I did the Utica one and some of the quests and most of the training. That's why she's pretty much maxed out for the time being. A little, if you want to call it a mistletoe, I think that's what it is anyways. Or if, you, if there's another name for it, then uh, that I might soon find out. Then again, I don't know. The Icelandics though, they, they are cute. And then the little special gate they have, I love it. The special gate they have, it's kind of, it's almost the same to the Percheron, but it's not. I think it's slightly different, given the fact they're a smaller horse. <laughs> so yeah. Then there's its normal coat. Normal coat, I mean. I don't know why I sound like that sometimes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but yeah. I could have gotten the other two versions of this horse, but I just decided to go with the blue one. And name it Ocean Breeze, because I thought it suited the horse very well. And it did. I guess if you guys want to steal my horse's names, that's okay. Just certain ones you can steal, but not all of my horse's names, because... I don't want it to become a habit. That's not one thing I want, is for it to become a habit. So this is one of my other ones. I decided to call it I decided to call it Rainbow Cupcake because the horse looks like a cupcake with rainbow sprinkles on it. So it suits it. Sometimes I try to find a name that suits it the most. So I do like this one too because it's pink. Multicolored tubes. Pretty cool. I think this video is probably going to be twice as long as the last one I've done. Because I only showed like a few of my horses at the time in the video. So this one is probably much longer than the last one. <laughs> Here's the normal coat. If you guys didn't know the normal coat, this is its normal coat. This one's like the Galloper Thompson horse, but it's not exactly that horse, but it does glow from the tail end, as you guys saw. Yeah, see? goes on the tail end. That's completely fine though because I, I like that. I find it unique. 
Heck, every horse is unique in their own way. Fabulous horses. Okay. Oh my gosh. This thing is like wanting to quit. Because it's like glitching out a bit if you keep seeing that. Yeah, I know. That's fine. Again, if you guys can't comment, then just leave a like. A like helps out. Oh, and a subscribe too if you guys aren't subbed yet. Hit that subscribe button. So next, I pretty much already showed this one in the corner over here. So I have to show this one. But I have not shown it yet, I don't think. A little break now, it's so cute. This one's also cute. I like them all. Not one, I just like, I like them all. Yep, so this should be the last horse I'll be showing for this video. Get a good face shot there. I could ride them bareback and no tack, but in order to equip the pets, you have to at least have a saddlebag on your horse. For those of you who didn't know that, you know now. Yep, this is her normal form. And then, well no, this is her magic form. Sorry, my mistake. Her magic form, and then her, her normal form. One in which I think is unique. No, who am I kidding? They're all unique. Sometimes I'm trying to decide though if the tack suits the horse. It probably doesn't though. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's all I have for you guys today. I hope if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And maybe even comment. Uh, no. Well, there's probably no comment section. But leave a like to let me know. That'll be your guys' way of commenting, liking the video. <laughs> Maybe subscribe too, if you haven't already. Do all that and help the channel grow. Subscribe today to become a Butterfly member. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Oh, the little sound it made. <laughs> so. Wait, what did I say I was gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna show off the book I was talking about. Uh, I'll do that real quick. One sec. Okay, so here's the book I was talking about. Um, I do like the title and everything because it's on star stable and then you have starshine tin can i don't know the other two horses but um oh wait no that's i think the one in the front the very front the one right there the the yellowish golden one i think that's meteor or something like that 
I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. Just got this book a couple days back and I've been reading it. Because I have a bookmark there. So you can tell that I've been reading it. It's a very good book. Yeah, so it's basically based off of the game. Yeah. Yeah. So that that probably tells you why I like the book and the game a lot, both at the same time. But yeah, um, with that, I think that's all I have for you guys today. So, I will go ahead and put this up to YouTube so you guys can watch it whenever you want. And yeah, so I will see you guys. <laughs> the sounds, I love it. Okay, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.